National Lampoon's Van Wilder is loosely based on this comedian's life. True story. His name is Burt Kreischer, and along the way throughout his career, he has had funny and unusual things happen to him, which are both entertaining and really hard to believe. And this weekend, he'll be at the Funny Bone Comedy Club telling you those stories you won't believe are real. But they are. He's made his way from the Travel Channel's Burt the Conqueror to Omaha, and he'll be conquering Omaha through Saturday night. Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here once again. I'm at the Funny Bone this weekend. Got a, a, a TV guy here. You've seen him all over the place on FX. You've, you've seen probably a movie based on them, but you, maybe you just weren't familiar. He's got a lot of stuff we're going on for him. So ladies and gentlemen, Burt Kreischer. Good to, good to be here. I just realized I'm wearing the shirt that me and my daughters made. <laughs> they, nice. I, love, I, I love owls, and then they put a B on it. Pretty nice, but it looks like I'm sweaty right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, nice little sweat pattern you got there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How was your trip to Omaha? Uh, it was started in Sioux City. I went to Sioux City last okay. night. So I flew in, car picked me up at 4 in the morning, <laughs> got off stage at the comedy oh. store at 2 in the morning, got in the car. I mean, it was, you know, I'm getting used to it. I'm, I don't know. I got that Mickey Mantle gene, you know, where I can. <laughs> Get up and then pound and ground, whiskey and sour, on the plane, sleeping through the plane, sitting next to Ric Flair. Like, yeah, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, I, and then good show last night in Sioux City. Good shows in Omaha. Todd and Tyler this morning. Todd and Tyler again tomorrow morning. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's nonstop. It is nonstop. It is not. Now you know why men die of heart attacks first. <laughs> That's true. That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> now you said I, you, something you said stuck out to me as well. You said you flew next to Ric Flair on the plane. Is that true? That was, yeah, that was the flight before actually. But yeah, Ric Flair pulled the move that I do sometimes. What's that? Uh, he was sitting next to his wife and he ordered a drink for her and then made it seem like that seemed like a good idea, so he'd have one and then drank both of them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Ric Flair. He was like, he was like, uh, she'll take a she'll take a Bloody Mary. You know what? That sounds good. I'll take one too. Make them doubles and then. <laughs> The stewardess drops them off, and then he grabs hers, murders hers. Or no, he grabs hers, murders hers, puts it in front of us, and then gently slips on his like his wife wolfed it down. And I've done that <laughs> so many times. I will be doing it again in two weeks when we go to Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What are you going to Cabo for? Uh, we're going down to do an event for Travel Channel. I work for Travel Channel. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're doing an event for uh, some of our cable providers. And I go down, do some stand-up. We, I think we're going scuba diving, going into a cenote, and partying, having a good time. It's the best. It's the best job in the world. Now, you, you're on, you, as you said, you're on the Travel Channel. you got Bert the Conqueror. Talk about uh, that show and how that's going for you. It's insane. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Bert the Conqueror was my first show on the network that started, that was six years ago. And then it got canceled, technically. And I did another show called Trip Flip for four years. And then they called up one day and they're like, hey, would you want to do Bert the Conqueror again? And I was like... Okay. I thought it was gone. And then, like, nothing's ever gone, baby. And so I started doing that. We shot an entire season, 13 episodes, half of which are half hours, seven of which are uh, full hour episodes. And that should be coming back in June. I'm really excited. It, the show, I mean, one of the highlights of my career, I make a gorilla laugh. You make a gorilla laugh? I make a gorilla laugh. Like, trust me when I say that is transcending comedy. <laughs> I made a gorilla, I made a different species laugh. Like, what, try to make your dog laugh right now. Try to make your cat laugh. You can get them excited, but laugh, like laugh. I, all I did was I just did an impression of him. I went, and he was just sitting there, and he was like kind of staring at me. And then I went, like, and he went. <laughs> so that is my highlight. I've, I'm extremely proud of it. I like that. that I, that's something I wish I could do someday, make a gorilla laugh. It can't be easy. Well, I'm going to try right now with these people. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Getting the burns in early. I like it. I like it. Now, one thing that I thought was pretty interesting, I was reading this up, and I didn't believe it was true. You, uh, you, back in about 2002, there was a movie that came out uh, called Van Wilder, starring a big, pretty big blockbuster weekend guy this weekend. Now, that, that story, is that, is that you? Yeah, well, whoever saw that coming. Uh, what happened was, a uh, long time ago, in 1997, Oliver Stone option the rights to my life. Uh, they tried to write a movie about it, about me and a journalist, like a party animal and a journalist, and it just fell apart. And then I got discovered by Will Smith. I started doing television, and then one day I got a call from my agent's managers going, hey, this movie, the movie that they were doing came out finally, and it's, you know, would you like to sue? And I remember thinking, I remember my manager at the time said, there's two kind of people in this world, Papa, those who work and those who sue. Pick which one you want to be. And, and at the time, I swear to God when you say this, you're like, Ryan Reynolds, the guy from Two Guys, a, a Girl in a Pizza Place? 
National Lampoon. It didn't come out big. Everyone thought it was a flop. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was working at the time. I've been working ever mm-hmm. since. I was like, I'm fine. And man, that thing took off. I- <laughs> <laughs> and now this weekend, Ryan Reynolds has like the biggest movie in the world. The biggest? I'm going to go see it. You I- see I- it yet? Oh, I feel weird. Like, I've never seen Van Wilder. I've never seen uh-huh. it because I- I'm afraid that I will see it and I'll go, oh, that has nothing to do with my life. And I'll feel like a liar talking uh-huh. to you right now. Because it probably has nothing to do with my life. <laughs> I didn't write it. I had nothing to do with it. I just... It's just that's the way Hollywood works sometimes, and uh, but I have a con- I feel like I have a weird connection to to Ryan Reynolds that like one day he'll come up and be like, dude, me and you need to get like I I ended up wor- almost working with his production company on a sitcom and uh, it kind of fell apart at the last minute and they said to me, you know it'd be cool if we could get Ryan on your podcast and you guys watch Van Wilder together. Oh, that would be good. I was like, well, yeah, I'll do it. So. So uh, we'll never know. You know, I doubt. I doubt he's coming on my podcast anytime soon. <laughs> do you, do you, can you say now that you take credit for his success in Deadpool? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're welcome, Ryan. <laughs> Just I'm sure. If, by, by the way, if this ever gets in front of him, he's gonna be like, "Wait, what the? F- who is this guy? <laughs> who is Burt Kreischer?" <laughs> now you, you mentioned you got your podcast going. Uh, you do a video podcast as well. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm obsessed with content. What's amazing to me is what we're making right now. We've got a camera, a mic, and all you have is two entertaining people that enjoy being on on, on camera. And that is the future of this of what is happening with content. So I do a podcast. I put a video element. I get my GoPro and just place it in the corner and just shoot like a wide shot. And uh, and and honestly, my podcast. I have some of the most entertaining people in the world on. And so why wouldn't I want to document it at least and put it out there? I mean, I have a one with Jim Jeffries. I think that's like seventy thousand downloads. I, just had Pete Holmes on this week, Adam Carolla last week. Uh, I mean, it's you know you get the most interesting people. I mean, I've been doing Joe Rogan's podcast probably for four years now, and I look back at some of the videos of those, and I'm like, God, thank God we documented it at least with video as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, I do that. I do a vlog. It's on my YouTube channel. You can find that all at burtburtburt.com. But uh, I, I just believe in making your own content, creating your own content, and putting it out there. And then also, it, it makes me better for when I do travel channel stuff. I really know. What is nonsense shooting? You know, I know the shots that, like, I'm like, yeah, wh- why am I forcing them to shoot me do this? This is horrible background. This is horrible audio. I can't clear any of these people. Like, you really get you more production savvy making the television you make better because you don't work. It's working smarter, not, not more, mm-hmm. you know? Right. So, yeah. Now, upcoming on Showtime, you've also got a special that you've been filming and working on. How's that, uh, how's that coming along for you? Well, we'll see tonight. Uh, it's an hour special. I shoot it in April. And, uh, and the big hiccup for me right now is to meld, meld is that the right word? Mesh? Uh, something like that. Mesh <laughs> the two stand-ups with, that I am. It's one is I talk about my family and my wife and, and being a regular, like just life. And then I go t- into a direct departure of like, when I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia. Uh, I fought a bear one time. I thought Will Smith wanted to have sex with me. Like, these are all, like, these crazy, unbelievable stories. And so I'm trying to figure out really where, like, how to do it right. You know, I wish I could do, like, a curtain call and then come back out and sit on a stool and be like, when I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia. But, you know, I don't know. So we're, we're figuring it out tonight. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do a, a mix it up a little bit. I always do it with, like, stories at the end. Maybe I'll put some stories in the beginning. There you go. Yeah. There you go. How can people stay stay in touch with Burt Crash and find out what's going on with his his, his stuff? Uh, go to Burt Burt Burt. I could give you my phone number, but uh, <laughs> go to Burt 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 dot com. That's B E R T B E R T B E R T. And uh, and get, you can find my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. I don't understand Snapchat, so you can find it there. But I don't know what I'm doing on it. Uh, and you can find my YouTube. And uh, you can get all my live dates. Come see me live. Or you're, it's in Omaha, right? It's so in Omaha all weekend. Hurry up. I'm, go- I'm leaving. <laughs> I might be gone, guys. Oh, my gosh. His name is Burt Kreischer. He's in town all weekend. You've got uh, all the way up until the 20th to see him. Uh, make sure you come check him out. Make sure you f- stay tuned for his uh, Showtime special. That's coming up a little later on in the year. So much stuff. Check him out on the Travel Channel. It's all over the place. Make sure you check him out. It's Burt Kreischer. Thank you so much for joining awesome, me, bud. Brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care, guys.